Welcome back, everybody. Today we have another video sponsored by Rocket Powered Sound, who have sent over their Ultimate Dubstep Serum Bundle. Ultimate Dubstep Serum Bundle. <gasps> this pack contains over 800 samples and serum presets that can help you take your track to the next level. For this video, I'm just going to make a song start to finish from scratch using the presets. And I'm actually playing a festival this weekend called Beyond Wonderland. And so my goal here is to make a song that I can play in the set and just kind of get two birds stoned at once. Sponsored video and a banger for me to play in my DJ set. Uh, let's just go ahead and dive right in here. I can show you guys what this pack is all about. Going through the presets, you'll find that pretty much everything is covered. You got ARPs, spaces, synths, effects, pads, risers, all of this stuff is contained variously throughout the entire thing. I'll go ahead and play a couple right here. This one's crazy. It's based <laughs> It's basically just like a whole intro for a song, but just like in one preset. It would take me hours to go through this entire thing, but every preset comes with macros and everything you can just tweak inside the preset itself. So if you find something you like, pretty much limitless possibilities that you can do. Also for everyone watching right now, if you do use the link in the description, you will get five bonus packs included in your order. And the entire thing is 70% off only until the 26th. So this is a limited offer that they're running. If you're interested at any point, you can go ahead and use the link in the description. Let's jump right into it. So for me, when I start a song, usually more often than not, I just start with the intro. I'm going to go ahead and choose 150 beats per minute. I haven't chosen a key yet, but that's the next step. I mean, this this ARP is literally just called intro starter, so <laughs> I'm going to use that. Um, Let's go ahead and choose E. 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 Yeah, there it is. I'm gonna add the reverb that I brought from home and um, keep it in the family, you know. Extend this note four bars and that'll be our establishing factor for this incoming banger. Okay, this preset comes with like this little bass line already built into it. Uh, which is just coming from oscillator B right here. So like we can go up an octave and it just changes the bottom, the bottom layer. And you can see right here, this is controlling the notes. So if I change this, it'll actually change the last note in the sequence. That I kind of like. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop this back down and that's gonna be like our intro bass line. I feel like this one could make a cool, like, really reverbed lead in the background of this. You can see right there at the end of this, it pitches up on this macro, but I can just go ahead and turn that down so it stays one consistent note. And then if you just turn the sub off, you just get all the good high end. So I'm gonna go ahead and try and maybe do like some kind of background uh, melody here. do like slight EQ automations here so that the the very beginning of the song doesn't have any sub bass it just sort of slowly creeps in and then gonna introduce itself down here the next thing I like to do is just maybe add like a few impact and swell effects and stuff just to create a little bit more of a, a better like transition Next, what I think I want to do is make like a little bit of a more like lo-fi-esque sort of drum beat right here for the intro. The way that I side chain, which is a very important uh, step in production, is I just create one dedicated channel here for side chaining, and then I just automate the volume for that channel. Whatever I want to be side chained, I just link directly over to here by right clicking and doing root to this track only. See here, it just goes. <laughs> Now 
I kind of have like this little, just basic, simple little drum beat here. I think what I want to do here is some kind of fluctuating bass line and maybe pair that with the same kind of fluctuating ambience that follows the melody in the background. They have a sub bass preset as well. This one's called zombie sub. So I can just go ahead and go in here and basically recreate the bass line from the art melody. Low sub bass. Now I want to do the same kind of effect on some sort of like airy, breathy ambience. Here's where we go into judgment day, as I like to call it. Move these sweeps over here. We're going to go big impact. And uh, I'm thinking war horns, fellas. <laughs> Just throwing it out there. Oh, that's pretty sick. And then I think we can also just introduce a riser here. I can already tell this build's probably going to go 16 bars. We scroll down here uh, to effects. There's something here called background hype, which I think will be pretty dope. Thinking right here, we go full stop, turn everything off and just go right into like a dry snare and some kind of cool bass fill. I'm gonna resample this audio real quick just cause I love the tail end of this. And I want to keep that last second half part going through the entire build. When I'm writing music that I would play in one of my sets, I usually like to implement vocals in some way, even if it doesn't make it to like the final release of the song. Vocals add such a nice hype element if you're trying to create just a banger to play out live. It just needs to be some kind of like rhythmic element, something that you could use to like hype up a crowd. Work it, fix it, rock it, move it, crack it, smack it. These are just like vengeance samples, you know, from like 10 or 12 years ago. Work it, fix if you just drag one in, just layer it with everything, it really does make a difference. You don't really have to even know what it's saying. I never like to leave them totally dry because we do want to decrease like the element of cringe as much as we can. Up and down and up and down. See, that's kind of cool too. See how that sounds. Never mind. Just keep rocking. Just keep rocking. Something like that. At this point, I pretty much just have like kind of a shell of an intro and a build. Once I have kind of like a main idea for like a drop section, I usually like to take that and then take whatever I made and incorporate it back into the intro rather than do that first and then make the drop out of that, which sometimes I do that as well. It's kind of different every time. Just keep, just keep, just keep.
Wait. It's fun to like if you make you know if you make like a cool little groove or something. It's fun to just bounce it to audio and then run it through some more manipulation plugins, like some distortion plugins or something. I'm just using Rift right here. I'm not sure if this is enough distortion. Maybe enough. Check the check the beat, check the beat, check the beat. Okay, I just randomly found this ARP pluck thing. I'm gonna put it in the intro. This is pretty sick too. I think I'm gonna put this in the intro also. <laughs> Hold on, that's kind of cool. Hold up. Right, hold on, hold on. Let's do a little kick arrangement here. So for this this little part right here, I just need like some kind of like a turnaround. I think for like this turnaround, maybe actually I just want to do uh like a just like a different um MIDI pattern here. So it'll go. Let's take this and uh, we'll just copy this serum and uh, play around with the macros a little bit more. Oh, that's so cool. Okay. So Sick. Now let's copy this whole thing over. We're going to do the same thing here. Uh, in order to progress, we're going to copy the original MIDI and just make a new instance of Serum and then like tweak a couple of these knobs so that it's different. <laughs> I just realized uh, a second ago that, that that this was like one semitone off right here. So if I just drop that down, that's a lot better. So now I don't know if you remember in the beginning when I said we're gonna write the drop and then we're gonna take like an element from the drop and then we're gonna put it in the intro of the song. I think that's what I'm gonna do right now is just take like. So now I can take this very chunky heavy boy right here, turn it way down and just kind of air it out a little bit. Definitely take all the low end out. Slap a nice little uh, hefty serving of reverb. I'm thinking I might go a little crazy and add some delay, you know, maybe just a, just a little bit.
that. And then now we can even put it right here if we want to go super wild. Put it in the build as well. And uh, once again, take the low end out because we have our sub frequencies clashing like crazy. Let's get rid of it. I think I want to go into a second build here. So I'm going to go just automate the pitch of this and then keep this thing going like such. So basically this is going to turn into a second build up, a maximum hype moment here. <laughs> Actually, let's go like all the way up. 12 semi, 12 semi Thomas is sending this vocal back over here. Let's do the responsible thing here and let's just copy the entire drop and then change it slightly. <laughs> We'll just swap these two around. No one's gonna know. How would they know? Oh, that's so much cooler. That's so, I'm doing that. I'm doing that on the first drop. I'm doing that on the, that's way cooler. The old switcheroo. Let's take this guy. I'm thinking we speed him up a little bit. Okay, I think I'll just copy the intro, use it as an outro, and uh, I'm gonna call it a day. So if you guys are wondering, um, like, I don't know, just general mix down stuff here, um, I keep it pretty simple, mostly just EQing, volume adjustment, side chain, make sure, you know, everything's in balance with each other. On my master channel, I just have OTT on here. In this particular instance, I have it at about 31% and uh, 5.5 decibels on the outgain. Let's go ahead and take one final listen here and uh, see how we sound. <laughs>
All right, well, my goal today was to make a song that I could play at a festival, which I'm doing this weekend. So I'm definitely going to play this. I will try and get a video and follow up and you guys can see it live in action. Thank you so much to Rocket Powered Sound for once again sponsoring a video. If you're interested, don't forget this pack is available for 70% off only until the 26th. Make sure you click the link in the description if you're looking to... Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. If you're interested, go ahead and follow that link. I appreciate all the support, you guys. Thank you so much, and I will see you next time. Peace. <laughs>